What is up, everybody? It is Thursday. It is Thursday. It is almost Memorial Day weekend. Thursday. So I thought I'd jump on and do a quick video. So how's everybody doing? I know I've not been recording like I should. I've been slacking. You can smack my forward assist later. Okay. All right. Let's go. So I thought today we would do a little video on some things that have come out now for Windows. And so we're going to do... We're going to talk about the Microsoft Windows subsystem for Linux. Why is this cool? Well, because Linux is awesome. Linux is everywhere. Linux is in the cloud. Linux is in your car, your phone, um, poster. There's like oh, uh, some kind of a talk that I, I always refer when I'm teaching students. Um, it was basically all the weird things that Linux is involved in. It's like soulless soccer robots to the... the uh, International Space Station to uh, what else? Just all kinds of stuff. So Linux is awesome. It's here to stay. Um, proof of this, we got from Bleeping Computer today. So what? We, let's check it out. We've got Windows 10 Insiders can now run Linux GUI apps. How cool is that? So Microsoft announced today at their conference, basically, um, well, this was like two days ago now, but what is today? The 28th? Whatever. What is today? What is that? So two days ago, so Microsoft said they're going to have the uh, Windows subsystem for Linux uh, able to run GUI apps. Now, Windows subsystem for Linux, I can't even say it right. If you're not familiar, um, they're calling this WSLG, which is WSL GUI. So it's been added as of April 21st. Um, you can also go to the GitHub page to check it out. So let's go look at the GitHub page. It says right now, um, you got to have at least Insider Preview Build 21362. How do you do that, may ask? Well, you can go to the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, and you can see the build number. Mine is on 21387, which is Windows 10 Pro, so it should be enough. So, so the Microsoft GitHub page is the WSL GUI. So if you're not familiar with GitHub, I did a video on that. I will put the link to that in the description on how to use GitHub. Um, this is just a bunch of code here. This is uh, enabling Windows subsystem for Linux for Wayland and X server. So all the different contributors. And there's what it looks like once it's actually running. So pretty darn cool to make it feel more native. Who would have thought we'd ever be here in Windows land? So how do we install it? Well, there's the Insider Preview Build, they recommend you run it on a virtual GPU so you can have the hardware accelerated OpenGL rendering. So if you have no prior Windows subsystem for Linux installation, you will have to open up a command prompt. And how do you do that? You hit the Start menu, type CMD, and you're going to right-click and run as administrator. Probably In my case, I'm a user account, so I have to do yes. This one, I already have one, but I'm going to go ahead and do it as if we didn't haven't done this already. WSL dash dash install dash D and then Ubuntu. And it's probably going to tell me that it's already here. Um, so it's going to download Ubuntu in the background. So once we uh, do this, we can we can run this other command and see what's currently installed because I have more than one Linux distribution. Now, of course. You can do this um, from the Microsoft Store, which is perfectly fine. You just hit the Start menu, open up the store, go to the Microsoft Store, and literally just type in Linux, and you will find all of the Linuxy goodness. I just can't even die. Ah. It's so weird. <laughs> Besides all the Minecraft and the Candy Crush, window or what am I typing? Linux. So just type in Linux and then just search and see what comes up. You have got literally, I kid you not, Kali Linux, pen testing Linux. You've got Ubuntu. You've got SUSE Linux. I mean, goodness sakes. You've got uh, every kind of flavor of Linux under the sun. Debian, Debian Linux, which is what Ubuntu and Kali are based on. So this is crazy. And I have nine updates. Apparently I have to update everything because I need to update 
So it looks like Ubuntu has been installed. It says it's launching. Now, I have a problem because I'm running VirtualBox. So that's that's a thing. Um, basically, I'm running a different program because I, I run other VMs outside of the Linux Windows Store, as it were. So we're going to go ahead and do this. WSL-list, and we're going to do dash V. So we have Ubuntu, we have Docker, and we have Kali. So you'll see that it is actually version 2. Hopefully you can see that. It's not too small. But version 2 right here up in the... Make this a little bit bigger. So we can make our font size a little bit bigger. A little bit, little bit bigger. Let's go 20. That looks... I think that's better. So, yeah. So we got Ubuntu 20.0.4. We got Docker and we got Kali. So what's cool about this? Well, I've already done a video where we can run it in the Windows terminal. That's fine. Um, so if we wanted to change, if you're running any version ones, you'll do this command, WSL dash dash set dash version and underscore distro name, whatever it is. So if it was Ubuntu, you would type in Ubuntu 20.04 and then set it to two. Now, I'm not going to do that. So um, basically what we have to do is we have to restart Windows Subsystem restart windows subsystem for linux by this command so so i've done that and now i'm going to uh run the update command so if i have to i already have it installed so this is existing install instructions so i'm going to go ahead and do um basically um i can reboot at this point if i had a fresh install but I already have an existing install, so I'm going to have to do a couple things. So, um, where'd it go? Yes. So I'm going to do this, WSL dash dash update. You can also do this from PowerShell as well. I'm just checking for updates. No updates are available, so I'm on the latest version according to this. So we're going to do the shutdown command one more time by pressing the up arrow. Shut down. And from there, we'll have to reboot the computer, um, essentially. But what we can do, so now notice, um, if I hit the Start menu, there's going to be an Ubuntu icon right here. Now the problem is, is that I'm running this um, alongside VirtualBox, so I have to turn off uh, VirtualBox because a required feature is not installed. So I have to reboot it, and that's that's fine. Um, So we will do that, and then we will come back with the correct uh, distribution installed and all that good stuff. There's all kinds of other stuff like uh, that you can get access to. So, so what you have to do, also, um, there's a command to disable um, the essentially the hypervisor. So um, it's called BCD Edit and disable hypervisor. You can literally just type this in. Uh, Google. So you have to do it from the elevated command prompt. And it would be nice if Microsoft had um, the command in the actual um, Microsoft documentation, but they don't. So you can you could find it on Stack Overflow, all kinds of stuff. I always forget. So it's literally this command, which I will put this command in the notes. I'm going to open up uh, my text editor right now. And I'm going to add a new uh, a new file. I'm going to save this command. Hypervisor on or off. We're going to save this on the desktop. So, because I, I have to do it so much that I really need it. And so I'm going to grab the other one. Basically, um, you can do auto to re enable it. So, make this to enable. And if you're wondering what text editor I'm using, I'm using Sublime, which I love, um, to disable hypervisor. It's been a long day. I can't type. So we're going to copy this. I'm going to go back over to the uh, man prompt here. We're going to paste. Hopefully, we're going to copy. For some reason, it's not wanting to... Uh, 
you know what? We're just going to type it in. It's fine. Now when we reboot, um, we'll be able to launch because we still can't launch um, Hyper-V VM. So we're going to reboot and then we'll come back. All right, so we're back now. We're going to open up Ubuntu and the Windows subsystem for Linux. And we now got a window. All we had to do was double click on the start menu. And looky there, we got a virtu virtual machine. Now, at this point, we can go and we can install some other um, updates. All it took was that one command. So now we got Ubuntu, we got Kali, we can run whatever the heck we want pretty much. Um, so let's go ahead and install some GUI apps and let's see what's up. We've installed Ubuntu, we've done the update, we've done the shutdown. Let's go ahead and make sure all of our packages are up to date. sudo apt-get update. And the default password in Ubuntu, I think. I probably just fat fingered it. Let me go check. You always want to make sure your Linux packages are up to date, just in case. Also helps you might get some packages that are uh, kind of, uh, shall we say, out of date. Clear the screen. We're going to do a... That's really small, so let's go ahead and bump that back up. I need to make the default. We can just do it like default like that all the time. Sudo apt get install gedit, because I like gedit. It's like my favorite text editor. Holy crap, 532 megabytes. That is a lot, but. And then we can start going in and editing our bash file, but that's going to take a minute. Let's just see. Let's get one, only one. There can be only one Highland. <laughs> uh, what do you think? We install GIMP. I already have BLC, and so I don't. I don't know what apps I really need on Linux versus Microsoft Edge browsers. I don't know. You tell me what apps in the comments you think I should get, and that's what I'll I will do. Um, so we are gonna make this uh, as soon as it's done. Whatever hurries up and finishes. Like, I'm getting too old in my old age. But anyway, it's Memorial Day, so I hope you guys are having an awesome week. I'm working like a dog. But no, it's actually been pretty good uh, this year, considering the pandemic and everyone else has got so many things on their plate. And I will be posting a review of my new uh, gift I got in the mail. Uh, it wasn't, I guess, really a gift. I bought it, but I paid full price for it. Well, I think I paid a little bit of a discount. So this may take a while, so we're going to pause the video and we're going to come back. All right, it's finally done installing and doing whatever it does. And we're going to say, let's go ahead and run gedit. Critical, GDC, KC, failed. Well, that doesn't sound good. I'm wondering, does it run it in like... Let's see what we got here. Once I've done that. Doesn't mean it's not running. But part of me kind of feels like there's something missing. So um, if anybody knows what the issue might have been, but at least hopefully this is helpful for you guys to see this. I do have the new um, uh, Insider build, so that's uh, that's cool. So let's go ahead and control, kill that. What if I give it an and? Nothing. And everything's up to date. Okay, let's do uh let's see top. 
It's running. But where is it? <laughs> well, that's kind of an epic fail. Kind of an epical fail, but that's that's fine. So maybe that's a bug instead of a feature. I'm hoping that maybe eventually um that you can install the Windows subsystem for Linux and mess with interesting. I don't think that's the same thing as the Windows. Yeah, WS man, that's not web services for man. Yeah, this is not what we're. But let's install the Steam locomotive just because we can. If I could actually type it. Um... Yes, we made something cool happen. And what about uh Yeah, I already got that one. Yeah, we can make our terminal do the matrix. All right, what else we got? Uh Yep, who doesn't love Linux? Yep, that's what I'm saying. Do we have Calsay? Or it's a uh, fortune. What's the daily fortune for today? People are beginning to notice you. Try dressing before you leave the house. And on that note, I think we're going to end the episode. That's perfect. So maybe I'll get a GUI app running. I was not successful in getting that done, but still had fun doing it. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Um, Try to do more tech content for this channel. A lot of good stuff happening. I want to say thank you. I appreciate all you guys. Um, nice, nice uh, shirt on the back of my. I gotta keep my my prepared for my office job. You know what I'm saying? The house, the house is getting a little messy, so I gotta do some cleaning up this weekend. So, happy Memorial Day. We'll probably have another video tomorrow on something else. Let me know in the comments what you want me to talk about, and we'll see you guys next time.